Hey you guys, so welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. I did this look on my IG live a couple of weeks ago, so I wanted to film a YouTube video recreating the look for you guys. So we're going to jump right into it. First, I'm starting off by setting her eyebrows with a translucent setting powder. Then I'm going in with my Morphe um, eyebrow pencil. Don't know the shade offhand not really that much of a fan of the morphe eyebrow pencils i wanted to try it out because a couple of people told me to try it out but mm, it first of all it runs out really quick it didn't last me that long and i just really wasn't that impressed so yeah i'm trying out new products so if you do have a eyebrow pencil that you really do like uh let me know down below I don't want something that's too, too dark. I'm trying to use uh, lighter colors on my clients and models for their eyebrows. But yeah, just let me know down below your favorite um, eyebrow pencils. So back to the brows. I'm just filling her brows in, shaping them up, really trying to reinforce more of an arch because as you can see, she doesn't, um, because as you can see, she doesn't really have an arch. Her brows, her brows kind of go straight and then come down. So I'm just trying to correct that and reinforce and reinforce more of that arched brow, you know, shapely eyebrow look. So I'm just doing light strokes all the way across to make sure I still get a natural brow, but you know. So once I have the eyebrows filled in, I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And I'm using the uh, Shop Miss A brush in E. Oh, uh, 11.3, I believe it's 1.13. Um, it'll be listed down below. But um, I'm gonna use uh, the Tarte Shape Tape. I believe it's 47S. I'm gonna use that to conceal underneath her eyebrows. And I'm just lightly taking that product across. And I'm just gonna trace out where I laid the eyebrow pencil. All right, so once I have both of the eyebrows concealed on the bottom, I'm going to go in with my BH Cosmetics. Um, I don't, I forgot, I've been forgetting the name of this brush, but if y'all been following me, you know what brush this is. But I'm just going to take this brush and blur out the concealer underneath the eyes. I have noticed now that since I'm using Tarte Shape Tape to um, conceal my eyebrows, I do not like this concealer all the way on the lid. I just feel like it counteracts with the eyeshadow because this uh, concealer is so matte. It just makes it harder to blend your eyeshadow. Doesn't matter what eyeshadow I use. I just don't really like it. So sometimes what I do, if I feel like I've went too low with the concealer, I'll just go in and wipe the concealer off, which is something that I used to do uh, back in the day, but I stopped doing it, but I started doing it again because I don't like that child. So for the top of her brow, I'm just going in with a color that's just a little bit darker to conceal the top of her eyebrows. Don't ask me what color this is, y'all. I do not know. It'll be listed <laughs> down below, but it's still the Tarte uh, Shape Tape. And I'm just going to, you know, tap that product into the skin. And I'm going to go on my Helen E eyeshadow primer and I'm just going to um, press that into the skin, making sure that my base is evenly distributed, nice and smooth. I'm going to go into my Varsity palette. I am going to use the shade Take Notes. On the original look, I used Take Notes and Lecture, but for her skin tone, I just decided to use Take Notes because I was able to use it. Um, in her crease and then I was also able to blur it out to like a light like transition shade so yeah I'm just taking that one shade and take notes which is like my favorite I don't it has to, I don't want to say no it's definitely my favorite color in the palette because I use it like in almost every look it's like the perfect like mid-tone brown and it is uh warm but not like too warm to where you can't use it on every skin tone 
So I'm just going to take my Morphe eyeshadow brush. I believe it's M573. I'm probably wrong because I'm not good with the names, you guys. But I'm just going to um, tap this eyeshadow. I'm um, going back and forth in a round shape. And I'm just going to keep kind of like tapping and blending downwards until I get the blur that I'm looking for. I don't like to blend up into the eyebrow unless it's in the inner corner so that I can blend up into the front of the brow. But other than that, I like to just blend down so I'm not blurring my eyeshadow up too much and it gets too, you know, too dark under the brow, the brow bone to be specific. But yeah, I'm just working that brown shadow in. This look is really simple, you guys, and you can really just do this for one eyeshadow. One to two eyeshadows, but really just one eyeshadow. So once I have my eyeshadow on how I like, I'm going to just go in with this brush. This is from the P. Louise Acid Rain Collection. I believe this was the collab with Emma Mitchell, and they had, like, brushes come out. This was a while ago, but just now using the brushes. <laughs> the brushes was in the packaging that whole time, like yeah sad i'm like a makeup hoarder yeah i'm just using this brush to cut my crease i'm just i'm using the acid rain base and i believe the shade is like blink canvas it's just a beige shade and i'm just applying that product onto the lid p louise does say that you should wipe wipe away any products and um you can I, I do it sometimes but for this look i decided to just go right in to the base so once I have my crease cut, I'm just going to go in with a Shot Miss A brush just to remove any extra product on the eye. These products do dry down on their own, which I really like, but I still like to remove any extra product off the eyelid, especially if I'm going to go in with an eyeshadow. So once I have both um, cut creases complete, I'm going to go back in to take notes and I'm going to go in with my Morphe M433 brush and I'm just going to smoke out the outer corner. Then I'm going to go into extracurricular, which is this perfect creamy nude look. And I'm going to press that all over the lid. Again, using another BH Cosmetics brush. If y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all know I live, I stand for BH Cosmetic brushes. So yeah, I'm just going to do the same exact steps on the other eye, you guys. It's so simple. I know y'all can follow the tutorial along, but no problems, okay? So now I'm going to go in with my glitter glue adhesive from Glow Up Academy. And I'm just going to uh, thinly spread this glitter glue across the eye, making sure everything is even, thin, not too thick, not too clunky. And I'm also going to bring a little bit of that glue onto the brown shadow. And then I'm going to take my glitter applicator from Globe Academy and my glitter and top tier. And I'm going to tap that on the eye. really love the glitter applicator because... It just makes it seem like you just placed every single glitter on the eye perfectly. Like, I did spray my glitter applicator. It's a silicone tip. So spraying it with a little bit of, like, spray or water will help the glitter to adhere to it quite easily. And I'm just going in and picking up my pieces and just placing them on the eye where I want them to be. Anywhere where there's a space, I'm going to go um, into my glitter and just pick up the finer pieces. And then to cover up the bigger spaces, I'm just using the chunky pieces. So with the glitter applicator, you can be a lot more strategic on how you place your glitters and where you're placing your glitters. When I did the Instagram live of this look, I used two glitters. So I used top tier and I used pink diamonds, which is a very, like a micro fine glitter. And I use that micro fine glitter to fill in the spaces of the chunky glitter. But to make this even more simple for you guys, I decided to just use one glitter to show you that you can still get a super bomb glitter look, sparkly look, which is one glitter, y'all. If you want to be extra like me, use two, you know. But, you know, you can use one glitter. And I'm just recording for you guys to get the Instagram content. And that's what it looks like. Um, I posted this on my page. So, yeah, that's what one eye looks like now. Um, you know, the camera kind of washes out, especially when you do like glitter looks, it kind of washes out what it really looks like. So I wanted to make sure I added in some cell phone footage, you know, and we're doing the same thing to the other eye. Once you have your glitter applied, you want to just take some more of that brown eyeshadow and drag it into the glitter so you get that ombre effect and it seems as if the brown shadow is just emerging from underneath the glitter there's no line of separation 
Now I'm going to take my next matte eyeliner, which is not really matte to me. It's more of like a satin finish. And I'm just going to do a thin line, dragging that across her eye. I'm not going to take it all the way out to wing it. I'm going to take a smudger brush from BH Cosmetics and just lightly blur that. And you can absolutely leave it like this. This is how I did the first look. So you'll just have like a very thin um, liner and you put your lashes on and it looks great. But I decided to smoke this out. So I'm going to go into the Varsity palette. I'm using the shade Champ, which is a deep chocolate warm brown. And I'm using an eyeliner brush from Shop Miss A. And I'm just going to apply that over the black and kind of bring the color up a little bit so that we get like that smoky uh, lash line. And I'm going to slightly wing it out as well. I'm going to go into that P. Louise Acid Rain um, brush collection. And this is another eyeliner brush, but this one is a lot thinner. And I'm just going to um, go into a black uh, cream eyeliner. It's actually a pencil from one size. It's a black uh, pencil, and I'm just going in on the bottom part of the lash line to deepen up the brown and further wing out that eyeliner. I hope this makes sense, y'all. It's so... It might sound complicated, like I feel like I just use a lot of words, but it's really simple to do. And you can leave the eye like this, but I actually decided to just wing my eyeshadow out just a little bit so that I can get more of a smoky, dramatic look. Going into the face, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I'm going to use that all over her face to moisturize her skin. Um, and that's all I used for moisturizer and primer. Then I'm going to go into the same concealer that I used for her eyebrows, which is the Tarte Shape Tape in 47S. I'm going to go underneath that with an e.l.f. concealer. I believe I just was mixing colors at this point. Um, I was just doing a light to dark on her skin, and then I added her contour color and then her foundation color on the bottom. And then the final shade that I'm going to use is from uh, the Born This Way concealer. It's just going to be the brightest um, color underneath her eyes to really just make sure we have like a bright under eye. Also on her forehead, down the bridge of her nose and on her chin. I'm then going to go into the Morphe Continuous Spray and I'm going to spray her face down before I start to blend. I'm going to go in with the Real Techniques uh setting under eye setting brush and i'm going to use that to blend out um her under eye concealer and also the beginning of her cheek area Smoking like a cigarette. Oh, hey. ah. baby, I can smoke it. Hey, Say, now you, I want to see when I wake up in the morning. Ah. Say, now you, I want to feel. So I'm just taking some more of my Born This Way concealer to add it to her cheeks so that I uh, get that bronzy color that I want and her cheek area right above her contour. I really do like laying the products down this way and then just blending everything out together. I just feel like it's so much faster. And right now, it just makes more sense to me than applying my foundation first, then my concealer, then my contour. I just like doing everything all at once. So I'm just trying to find the best way to make that work for me. So I'm just trying different variations of the technique that I explained in my last video and also if you watched my two lives that I did a couple of weeks ago, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So yeah, now I'm just going in with my foundation brush just to make sure things are just seamlessly blending in together. And you do want to make sure you're blending with about three different brushes because you don't want things to get muddy in one tone so for the lighter areas of her face i'm using one brush for her uh, contour and bronzer i'm using another brush for the foundation i use another brush so that's the only thing 
uh, you want to be mindful of. It's kind of like the same thing, though, as if you were laying the products, the colors on at a different time. You wouldn't use your foundation brush to blend out your concealer. So it's the same concept. So I'm going in with another Shop Miss A brush. Really love this brush for nose contour. And I'm just going to um, use a little bit of the same uh, going this way concealer that I used on her cheeks. I'm going to add that to the contour shade that I already had on her nose. Just so that um, as I'm blending the contour out, it's not getting too harsh. To set her under eye, I mixed... Sasha Buttercup and I mix Laura Mercier. I've been watching a lot of like Spence. His name is Spencer. I don't know his. Y'all know who I'm talking about. I've been watching Spence on YouTube and he uses. Um, I've seen him use the Laura Mercier powder. So I wanted to try it again. I tried it a couple of years ago and I didn't really like it. And y'all, I still don't like it. I just feel like it's like too drying. Like I feel like I don't know. But anyway, um, for bronzer, I'm going to go into my Sephora collection a uh, contour blush palette i don't think this is available anymore on the website you guys it's one of those products that you really have to look out for because i was lucky enough to find it last year after they had pulled it off of the site and pulled it out of their stock so i just used that to bronze her skin then i'm going to take some more of that powder and um apply that underneath her contour line to reinforce more of a cheekbone i'm going to go into my juvia's place warrior palette and i'm going to use those first two shades to contour her skin And I'm just adding some more powder. I'm going to set her brows as well. Now I'm just going into that same Sephora palette and I'm just using a really light pink blush on her cheeks. Throughout the tutorial, you'll see me build up on the bronzer and the blush. Right here, I'm going back in with some more bronzer. This time around, I'm going into the Varsity palette and using that same shade that we use on her eyes. Um, just because I just wanted like a really warm cheek and it, it just wasn't given like... For her nose contour, I am using that shade from the Sephora collection because it's the perfect light, muted, um, cool tone brown. Like, it's not too warm for a nose contour. Now I'm just going to take uh, the powder that's left on her skin and I'm going to press it in using the Real Techniques Under Eye Setting Brush. I went underneath her eyes with the Derma Blend uh, Translucent Powder. And uh, while that's baking, I'm going to just, and this is just going to give her like more of an under eye brightness. This is also something that I've seen Spence do and I really like. I really like his channel, y'all. Um, so I'm just going in to line her lips. I'm using the Juvia's Place. I think it's called Kula uh, Lip Liner.
I'm going to go in uh, back in with another glitter applicator because I also use these to apply lip colors. So I'm going in with one of my old lipsticks. I don't sell anymore, but I am thinking about bringing it back. And on top of that, I'm going in with lip gloss from Globe Academy. This is in the shade Class Act. It's not released soon. The YouTube. No, actually, I think I showed it on IG Live first. So if you was on IG Live, then you saw it first. But yeah. And again getting content for you guys you know this is what it's looking like in real time without the camera washing out all the goodness so this is what we have so far you guys like i said um before throughout the video i was building up on her cheek area so i'm just going in with some more blush um and this is just one of the peachy shades from the warrior palette i really love that palette I really feel like that should be a it's a really good eyeshadow palette but like it's just a bomb face palette like i use that palette on the face a lot so i'm just going in and pressing that derma blend powder into the skin and i'm gonna spray her down again with the morphe continuous spray we're going to smoke out her bottom lash line I used a brown pencil from one size and I'm gonna go in underneath that with take notes with a smudger brush from BH cosmetics I'm gonna slightly smoke out her bottom lash line I'm gonna go into the Sahara palette I think it's called from Juvia's place I just needed a really deep uh, cool tone brown so that I can fill in the sparse areas of her brows that the pencil just couldn't do for me because i still saw her skin peeking through and i didn't want that so i went in with an eyeshadow and again this is another brush from the acid rain brush set this brush set is really useful apparently so i'm just using that to fill in her brows some more spraying her again <laughs> she has dry skin you guys so i'm gonna go in with the morphe luminous spray only use this on your clients if they have dry very dry to dry skin anybody else do not use this on and then i'm just gonna take a little bit of highlight and i'm gonna put it on the bridge of her nose the tip of her nose and a little bit on the very high points of her cheekbone the last step is just adding a black liner to her waterline and yeah this is the completed look you guys on the original look, I didn't add anything to her inner corner, so I did the same thing with this look. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you guys shop my brand, Glow Up Academy. The palette will be back in stock in September, so make sure that you are following my personal Instagram and the brand page so that you don't miss any updates on that. I love you guys so much, and I will catch you guys in the next tutorial. Bye!